Hi everyone, I'm going to share with you how to make another hand bag. It's really beautiful and it's easy to do. So I'm using the interfacing right here that I cut, but you can use paper if you like. With the interfacing, it's a little challenging. I just cut in here like 12 inches. Okay, and then I press really good because sometimes it's not pulling out the side really good and then it's not going to be even. So I'm going to make a 12 inch circle. I'm going to go around and mark six. Whatever side of the circle you are making, after the fold, you going to go around, go halfway. I want to make this 12 inch circle. I go around six inches all around after two folds. Last time when I mentioned about the uh, the bivo, the nasty bivo would like came into my channel. It been very nasty. I know who it is, but um, you know they just they don't come in just to watch my video. They just come to bring drama. I know exactly who. Okay, um, and then a lot of my subscribers come in target that bivo. All right, now cut this out. After you cut this out, you need another another circle of the interfacing you need two circle of the interfacing for this project okay on the wet paper alrighty so now go and trace on the interfacing and cut another one out this is my interfacing everyone where well, I'm going to um Walmart. I go to Walmart and I buy it by the yard. So awesome. I love them. Okay, so everyone after I cut in the two circle of, of the interfacing, we're gonna make um, the pocket for the bed. And this is six inches square piece, okay? Gonna fold it in half so I can curve on the top. Go down an inch. Mark an inch. Use the place. This is eight inches or any plate, okay? And then as long as you go like this, and then side to side like that, it touching. Go and round it. Now you have the round top right here. Try to go a little bit round like that, okay? you have this and then you're going to use the interfacing and you go on to cut two Everyone, this is the fabric that I'm going to use with the Flamingo, okay? This fabric I got in from Walmart. Can you leave that? And this is for the outside and the inside. I have the red fabric. This is 100% cotton. I also got this at, from, at Walmart too because it's thicker. That's what I like. The line and under. And then I'm going to place the main fabric on top of the lining because I want to cut... Make sure you turn into medium high, not all the way up because you go on to ruin this and it's not going to be the circle anymore. And I don't know what shape it's going to be. You can try it and you find out. Just kidding, don't do it.
Okay, everyone, just doing that. And then after, you're going to go around and cut an extra uh, quarter up and ends all around for this. That and this and this. Okay? So, everyone, now I have four things. The two circle and two pockets. We have the lining in here. So, you're going to sew all around. And you're going to leave about two inches open. Follow the interface and on the side of the interface and follow that and so all around to here and stop. Leave this open so you can inside out. Remember, don't sew on the interface and so right on the side of it. Alrighty, and then on this side you're going to do exactly the same. Leave it two, three, four, whatever you want. Okay, uh, I do about two. Okay, so go and do the same thing. So on this one and leave this open. So that two circle. And then on this pocket right here, you're going to sew all around, follow in the facing, leave two inches open, follow this, sew all around to here and stop. Leave this open. Here too, another pocket right here. Go follow that in the facing, sew all around to here and stop. Leave this open. So everyone, after I done sewing, you can go at the area where you have the opening space right here. Going down this way. My goodness, everything I, I touched today is falling down. You're gonna go and iron all around and same thing to this one and then I have done this too. I already pressed the side and iron. So remember we have two circle and two pockets. Okay. Every one after I iron and this is the two pocket on the side right here and this is the two circle. I already pressed and iron. You go on around and top stitch all these two circle and also to the pocket. So you go on the top stitch on this side only on the side here and go around to here and stop. You don't need to do that at all on the straight line. Straight line right here, you don't have to. Just go around here on the side on the top and go down. Here everyone after I top stitch all around these two. And then also the flap for the not the flap, the pocket. Also here I cut three inches by thirty inches long. And I fold it in half. I fold it in half this way. And then I fold it again to the center, top and bottom down to the center, and then fold again. This fabric is a little thick, but if you don't you want, you can add interface and inside. So you're gonna um uh, add three quarter up and ends of the interface and in the same length 30 inches. So you're gonna sew the two sides, this side and this side all the way all the way to the other end okay and this one too you're going to do exactly the same okay so let's see 
and then we're gonna bring this back my flamingo go all different direction okay so it's it's safe that way I'm going to fold it in half place the um, the red side the line on side together and the right side facing out I'm gonna press the center and then you're going to do the same thing to the other one by follow this one and press the center two and just on the sole light up here to I go and pin this I'm gonna sew this line to the line that you just mark go straight line so everyone after I sew on the side here this line and then you open this up you can use iron to iron this down if you want so now when you have something like that you're gonna bring the pockets back you're gonna fold a pocket like this corner to corner everything have to meet like that in the right in the center press you can fold in this way make sure this corner touching the corner everything line up like this and then you can press the light that the center right there okay now you're gonna open this up there is the center and then you're going to bring this pocket back make sure you slide it in here and then the center have to meet the center right there you can see it right there place the handle down to here at the end and on the side of the pocket You're going to do the same thing to this side, okay? Okay, everyone, so we're going to sew the handle, okay? So we're going to start it from here. You can start from the middle here because this is going to be on the bottom of the bat. We don't want to start here, okay? So we're going to start from here with a lie here. You're going to go up on the one side of this, okay? Go all the way up to here. Go around this side where we have the top stitch going down, going back, going down again, and then go this side all the way down. I just dropped the uh, the water. So going down to here, going down to this side, go all the way straight, straight into this side, going up to here, go around this one, two, three. And go down this way go this side and go down to here and stop okay the other side you're gonna do exactly the same
I'm going to start the new one. Okay, so go ahead and do the other side. This side is done. The left side is done. Now you're going to do the same here. When you're done, go to here. You're going to sew this straight line here too. Because we want the bottom of the pocket to stay down to the fold too. You don't have to, but just nicer. One after I sew on all around, and I will go on to turn the, the wrong side out. I'm going to make sure everything is lined up. From the handle, you're going to go down two and a half inch, right here. And okay, this side same thing. You're gonna sew this all the way down to the bottom, okay? And on this side, you're gonna do exact the same. Two and a half. Okay. So you're gonna sew from here. You're gonna follow the top stitch right there. So on this side, all the way to the bottom. Everyone, after I sew on on the side here, you're gonna put your hand inside and make sure you're pushing the side so you can box this bottom a little bit. You go into sew this line, and then when you go into this side, you go going to do the same thing. All right, so now go sew that bottom, and then sew on this bottom. I knocked the camera, it's like a tornado coming. So everyone, when you're done sewing the bottom like this, it's because the side here that's very nice so I don't need to like wrap this around here. I remember when in when I back home a little, my mom taught me how to sew, but we don't have the uh, sewing machine. Everything hand sew. I'm put my hand in here, everyone, so I can make sure where it going to touch. Spread this uh, out, okay? and then go down to here. You just have to make sure where it's go. It is right here. Yeah, so we have to do hand sew. We draw the line and then follow the line and if whole. Oh, that's why I love hand sew because, you know, sometimes when you do thing you sew by hand, it look nicer. I mean, it take a long time, but So you're gonna sew this flap up to there, okay? It'll look nicer. Later on, if you want to like iron this light out, you can too, or you can leave it the way it is. Whatever you like, this is the inside. So you're gonna do about like three or four times around here, the corners on both sides, and then you are done, okay? When I inside out, after I'm done sewing, I inside out, and this is what it look like, everyone. That looks so cute, and it's easy to make too. If you want to use this, um, to add the button right here, you feel free to do that. Add one button on each end here, and then snap it right there. From top to bottom. nine inches and i'm not sure i'm not measuring this part okay because it's standing so well and then side to side here it's 10 inches in the quarter really really cute look how cute this is everyone that is so easy to make and it is different and then um, this is good for the beginner too very easy in the pocket here you can put the phone in here Stay safe, take care everyone. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe to support my channel. And um, 
the subscribe button after you click on one click again that means you turn the notification bell on so every time i upload the video you don't miss any stay safe take care love you